Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 188. His majesty is impotent. Uh oh. He accused her majesty of being infertile to hide this fact and forced me to bear a child with another man. His majesty made me do all of this. <laughs> Shut up, slave empress. How dare you insult the emperor? Oh, everyone's mad. Order. Order in the court. Is it true? He's not impotent. Ugh. Are you attempting to drag down his majesty now that you're cornered? Of course I am. If I'm to take the fall for everything, I'm taking my accomplice down with me. <laughs> Nothing neat more needs to be said about me. Empress Navier became pregnant right after she was divorced for being infertile. <laughs> Doesn't this prove that His Majesty is sterile? Oh my. I assumed I was being I was able to conceive because of the mana stone bed. But can the problem actually lie with Sovatio? Apologies, your majesty, but I believe it's my turn to speak. Please cease with the delusional fabrications. Yeah, you tell her, Johansson. Your honor, are you aware that the man who claimed to be Empress Rasha's real father, a man once sentenced to slavery, went missing after going to meet her? Huh? I have brought Her Majesty's real father to testify. Please allow him to take the stand. Permission granted. Dun. Whoa, whoa. What happened to him? His Majesty didn't... His Majesty didn't kill him? Her Majesty said she wanted to give me one last gift, as the circumstances no longer allowed for more. She told me to take a little used side path to the palace. But on my way, I was attacked by, un by unidentified assailants and nearly lost my life. I was saved by Imperial guards who happened to be passing by. No. Th that, that can't be. That can't be. After that, the trial moved quickly. An assassin who claimed to have been hired by Rashta took the stand and confessed to accepting her request to murder the Duke and Duchess Trovi because of the power she wielded. But the assassin did not go through with it. When asked whether he wanted to grant Rashta immunity, Savatia said, Declare her guilty. Oh. Are you abandoning me now, Your Majesty? I hid the truth about your impotence. And the fact that you love Empress Navier because of it. You're really going to throw me away after using me like this? <clears throat> Given the severity and range of her crime, the punishment should be execution by hanging. But considering the defendant once held the title of Empress, I sentence her to imprisonment. The Remarried Empress, episode 188. Now that it has been revealed that Rasha's child is not royal, I will revoke the exile of Kosair, Trovi, and yourself. It must have been hard for you. Ooh, they are glaring. <laughs> to me, the only difference between you and Empress Rasha is your power. I don't wish to be consoled by someone who is no different from her in other respects. Oh. Harsh. So harsh. Next day, in the rear garden of the Trovi estate. I wish you would stay for longer. I'd like to get back as soon as possible. I also want to give Kosair the good news quickly. See you in about a month. Clip, clip. Uh, huh? 
Vishu? He's looking at me like, Help me, Navier. Please. What does it matter if Sovetsu gives me such a pitiful look? He's the one who wronged me, not the other way around. My queen, look outside. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Are people cheering? Wow, and these were the people who literally glared and shunned her? Uh-oh. We will never forget your sacrifice. The true empress of this empire has always been you. I hope you live a happy life. See? Yeah. Hurrah! Red is a symbol of happiness in the Eastern Empire. Unlike the proce procession after the woman's wedding, everyone is wishing you happiness. <laughs> oh. My queen. My wife. Navier. Oh, she's crying happy tears. Only good things await us from now on. You, me, and our child will only see the good things in life. Think happy thoughts. And live happily ever after. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire, the third merchant group safely arrived in loot and started trading. I wanted to tell her the good news. Navier, when are you coming back? Blast it! Who rescued the Empress with ice magic? I need to avenge her. Huh? Oh, Krista, my poor sister. Your punishment was too severe for the crime you committed. Where is he? I've heard their voice coming from somewhere around here. That man, Emperor Henry, when you come back, happily and without a worry in the world, that will be the last time you'll smile. Say, look, whenever someone say out loud, like, oh, great things will happen to, for, uh, to us from now on, Normally, when you say stuff like that, it the opposites happen, okay? And they are about to come back to a very angry and vengeful person. So, wow. Okay. All right, guys. Um, wow, Rashta. So, my thought process here, uh, or how I feel when I read her sentences, or sentencing, so she would have been, you know, uh, hung for her crimes, but, be but because she is now stripped from her title as an empress and now considered a former empress, they will just imprison her for the rest of her life. Which, honestly, to me, I think that is fair because being alive and being trapped is very is is horrible it's worse it's like you're stuck in a cell block for the rest of your life and death it's it's really quick you know oh done you're gone you know that's it no pain no suffering so yeah now she gets to live her days out uh, reflecting on all the bad stuff that she has done you know, wow, that is wild. But I really wondered what they did. What what happened to the father? Like he walked away fine with the guards. So like, did someone beat the crap out of him? Interesting. Cause for sure, like, Rashta didn't do it. Yeah, like he was pulled away before she could jump onto her dad to do her. -er. Yeah, well, I'm confused, but yeah, someone definitely beat him up. Or maybe it's, it was staged, perhaps. But the the scene of where, like, Sobeshi was just in the bushes looking at Nevier, like, you know, like, all pity, like, being all pitiful and stuff, like, 
that was so cringy. Okay. Well, mainly because like my personal experience, like I had an ex who was like that, right? Like, oh, uh, not because like you know how the same thing that Savage did, but what my ex did was that he accused me of cheating, right? I left him because he was just a horrible person. He physically abused my cat, and that was like the last straw. He did a lot of things where I was just like so over it, but the last straw that really made me like, you know what, pack everything up and left was he the fact that he choked my cat. And um, he, to him, he couldn't register why I left him. Like, like no, no one's going to leave me just because of this. They leave me because, oh, they probably have someone else. So he would go all over social media and just post about like how I cheated on him and his friends would bully me. And, you know, it was crazy. But of course, later on, after that, you know, he moved on and stuff happened. He actually got cheated by his um, ex-girlfriend. He started to like email me and find me on social media. Like he stalks all my accounts. Even like I make like re food review of like on Yelp. He would find me on there. He finds me on YouTube. He will leave comments like it's it was wild. OK, and he would be like, I'm sorry, you know, I hope you give me another chance. Like, oh, you know, I wronged you and stuff like that. And then, of course, um, he found out that I, you know, I was in a re relationship and I got married and um have a kid and stuff like that he's like oh i hope we could be friends like please forgive me it's been three years and you still hate me this much i was like i don't hate you but i don't want you anywhere in my life so just seeing that scene of sex so Veshu just in the bush crying reminds me of that and my ex did some crazy stuff like he would cry in the under the rain he would hide in my trunk of my car like he did a lot of crazy stuff it was crazy 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 but yeah so seeing Sobatia like that gave me a little bit of PTSD anyways I shared I overshared but it's this is crazy it's a great episode all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and I will catch you guys next time bye